building girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. Juliet Gordon Lowe, or Daisy, she was affectionately called by family and friends, was born on October 31, 1860 in Savannah, Georgia. She was the second of six children born to William Washington Gordon II and Eleanor Kinsey Gordon. Young Juliet developed what was to become a lifetime interest in the arts. She wrote poems, sketched, wrote, acted in plays, and later became a skilled sculptor and painter. In her teens, Juliet attended boarding school at the Virginia Female Institute in Staunton, Virginia, as well as other schools in Virginia and New Jersey. She later attended Malilles, Chabonnier is a French finishing school in New York City. Following her school years, Juliet traveled extensively in the United States and Europe. On December 21st, 1886, her parents' 29th wedding anniversary, Juliet married Willie McKay Lowe, a wealthy Englishman at Christ Church in Savannah, Georgia. Although the couple moved to England, Juliet continued her travels and divided her time between the British Isles and America. Prior to her marriage, Juliet had suffered from chronic ear infections and had lost most of her hearing in one ear due to the improper treatment. At the age of 26, she lost hearing in her other ear after a doctor punctured the eardrum and damaged the nerve endings while attempting to remove a grain of good luck rice thrown at her wedding that had lodged itself in her ear. During the Spanish-American War, Juliet came back to America to help her mother organize a convalescent hospital for wounded soldiers returning from Cuba. Her father, who had been a captain in the Confederate Army, was commissioned as a general in the U.S. Army and served on the Puerto Rican Peace Commission. At the end of the war, Juliet returned to England to a disintegrating marriage. The Lowe's were separated at the time of her husband's death in 1905. Juliet spent several years searching for something useful to do with her life. Her search ended in 1911 when she met Sir Robert Baden Powell, founder of the Boy Scouts and Girl Guides. Afterwards, Juliet became interested in the new youth movement and thus channeled all her considerable energies into the fledgling movement. Less than a year later, she returned to the United States and made her historic telephone call to her cousin Nina Pape, saying, I've got something for the girls of Savannah and all of America and all the world, and we're going to start it tonight. On March 12, 1912, eight years prior to women being able to vote, Juliet gathered 18 girls to register the first troop of American Girl Guides. Margaret Daisy Dutes Gordon, her niece and namesake, was the first registered member. The name of the organization was changed to Girl Scouts the following year. During the early years of Girl Scouts, Juliet dedicated almost all of her personal assets to pay for the expenses of the movement. Her vision and passion for helping girls of all backgrounds become self-sufficient. Strong leaders was a moving force in her life. No sacrifice was too great for her girls. By 1915, if the organization was to continue to grow, funds were desperately needed. To support the movement for another year, Juliet sold one of her most cherished possessions, an exquisite pearl and necklace, given to her by her parents once again putting the needs of the girls over her personal desires. In an effort to continue the growth of the organization, the first cookie sale began in 1917, five years after Juliet started Girl Scouts. In developing the Girl Scout movement in the United States, Juliet Lowe brought girls of all backgrounds together, thus providing them with the opportunity to develop self-reliance and resourcefulness. She encouraged girls to prepare not only for traditional homemaking, but also for possible future roles as professional women in the arts, sciences, and business, and for active citizenship outside the home. Girl Scouts welcomed girls with disabilities at a time when they were excluded from many other activities. This idea seemed quite natural to Juliet, who never let deafness, back problems, or cancer keep her from full participation in life. Girl Scouts is the largest educational organization for girls in the world and has influenced more than 50 million girls, women, and men who have belonged to it, including celebrities such as Linda Carter, Lucille Ball, Abigail Breslin, Peggy Fleming, Lolo Jones, and Michelle Obama, to name a few. Juliet Gordon-Lowe accumulated admirers and friends of all ages, nationalities, and walks of life. By maintaining contact with overseas Girl Guides and Girl Scouts during World War I, she helped lay the foundation for the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts. Julia passed away from breast cancer on January 17, 1927 at her Savannah home. Per her request, she was buried in her Girl Scout uniform at Laurel Grove Cemetery in Savannah. In her
her pocket, she is a telegram from the National Board of Girl Scouts of the USA. You are not only the first Girl Scout, you are the best Girl Scout of them all. After her death, her friends honored her by establishing the Juliet Lowe World Friendship Fund, which finances international projects for Girl Scouts and Girl Guides around the world. During World War II, a Liberty ship named in honor of Juliet was launched on May 12, 1944 at the Southeastern Shipyards in Savannah. The ship was christened by Margaret Gordon, the first registered Girl Scout and Juliet's niece. On July 3, 1948, President Harry S. Truman signed a bill authorizing a stamp in honor of Juliet Gordon Lowe. The stamp was one of the few dedicated to women. In addition, Juliet's handsome English Regency home was purchased and restored by the Girl Scouts of the USA in 1953. The Juliet Gordon Lowe birthplace, which provides tours to thousands of Girl Scouts yearly, was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1965, the first in Savannah. Finally, on October 28, 1979, Juliet Lowe was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame in Seneca Falls, New York. In closing, I'd like to thank Juliet Lowe for the many great experiences from all the remarkable people I've had the pleasure of meeting as a Girl Scout for the past five years. Girl Scouts is truly a program that empowers girls to be courageous, caring, helpful, and honest. Girl Scouts not only changes the girls, it changes the world with random selfless acts of kindness. During my journey as a Girl Scout, I've discovered the reward and service to my community, the true meaning of best friendship, the value in the bond of sisterhood, and an unconditional love for the members of my squad. It is my hope that this documentary will inspire other young girls to join Girl Scouts. Motivating young women to take on the world and show courage, confidence, and character was the greatest purpose in the creation of Girl Scouts for Juliet Lowe. There is no doubt that the Girl Scout success in America merits attention as does their founder's colorful life. If that's not a legacy, I don't know what is. I love working with the girls and watching them grow and watching them succeed and I don't know that it makes me feel important, but it makes me feel good. And do you think Girl Scouts is a legacy that everybody should give? Oh, absolutely. We've been around for 102 years now. Um, and we don't see Girl Scouts ending anytime soon. Um, right here within the Washington area, we have the largest council in the entire nation. And we're growing. And Calvert County continues to grow. The moment was when my daughter was a senior in high school. She was a delegate. We went to the annual meeting in Landstown, Virginia. So it's called Landstown, Virginia. Um, they had after the event they had Georgetown cupcakes come in and they had a big tower of cupcakes everybody get to get a cupcake there was one little brownie that was off to the side crying with her mother uh, there were no cupcakes left my daughter was standing there talking to some council representatives had her cupcake on her plate and she went over and very graciously gave up her cupcake which she had been looking forward to for four weeks for this cupcake and she gave it to the brownie girl scout and it made me cry what do you think is the most valuable contribution Girl Scouts has made to American society? Um, I think the I think the best thing that Girl Scouts has done is probably give all girls a chance and an opportunity to learn, experience, and do new things. Do you think Girl Scouts is a legacy everyone should know about? Most definitely. That's why I still do it, even though I don't have girls in it. Um, I definitely think it can benefit pretty much any girl that's out there and give them chances, opportunities, ways to grow and learn about themselves. If more girls understood what Girl Scouting is about and, and the meaning, um, service to others, and doing worthwhile accomplishments, accomplishments plus all the all the fun and cool um, adventures that you get to go on that you normally wouldn't have the opportunity to do I think we would have more scouts so I, I do think the girls need to, to, to hear the message